Hey Crusaders, camping is a part of the Adventure Crusader, and here is a project camper I'm going to present to you. Hey Crusaders, Daryl here. I want to show you our new adventure we're starting on. This is a 1994 Coleman Cedar XL pop-up. Now, yes, 1994. The good thing is the purchase price was only $800. So that gives us a little bit of wiggle room to make it just like we want to make it. We don't have to pay $15,000 for a new pop-up, $800, let's put $500 into it, let's see what we do. This, when it's loaded and it's traveling down the road, is only 47 inches tall, fully opened, 17 feet, sleep six, and dry weight, you're looking 1,250 pounds, which is perfect for one of our four Mitsubishi Monteros, which are parked in my driveway. Let me show you around our Cedar XL. So starting with the front of our Coleman Cedar XL, you notice the tongue. So I've started working on it already and sprayed some rust inhibitor on the frame. I then sprayed it black. As you can tell, I have the LP tank and the battery box off. What we did on a lot of these older Coleman's is it had one solid lid that goes in front of the storage box. So what I had, I had a friend of mine who actually is an aluminum fabricator and I had him put two separate lids on the front cargo box. Now as you notice there is a air conditioning unit in there and the previous owner cut a hole in the bulkhead, put the AC unit on a metal drip pan and then ran the hose out which would have ended up right here coming out of the corner so yes there's a hole in the storage box so part of what I'm going to do is make sure everything's watertight and fiberglass whatever I need the fiberglass and make sure it's structurally sound now as you notice coming on this side which would be the passenger side um, it still has the graphics on it still has the original um canopy on it and if you notice the roof is black the previous owners what they tried to do is tried to waterproof it by putting rhino liner uh, on it or herculiner on it which i can go for it but if you notice i started spraying it out in white to see just how much better it's going to look. So, some of you who may be offended, my tag is covering up my actual motor vehicle tag, and that is the Florida state flag. So, don't get your underwear all wadded up if you're like, oh, you know, he's from the south and blah, blah, blah. No, that's not the case. That is the Florida flag. So if you notice coming down the driver's side of it, I've already started taking the decals off. So what I'm going to do is as I take the decals off, I'm going to be replacing fittings. Uh, this fitting right here for the power cord definitely needs to be done because it won't stay locked. So that's going to be replaced Everything's going to be sanded down. And then 
everything's going to be sprayed with white uh, Raptor sort of like what's on my son's 1992 Mitsubishi Montero so it'll be nice and white the roof will be white and actually with the roof since it's textured I'm actually gonna sand some of this down if you noticed well, that's a terrible angle right there with the with the camera in it but not only is it black but you can see where the white roof came through now what I have to do with the roof here is from this section forward the front section all the way to the side and then the other passenger side up to the latches the wood inside the roof needs to be replaced if you notice it already has the cargo bars on it so the plans are those are going to stay white this is all going to be white i'm going to go ahead and probably get some yakima or other bicycle racks so my wife and i can go ahead and put the bicycles on top when we travel so i don't know guys what do you think i'd rather have this dingy faded striping or nice clean white if you notice there's a piece of wood right there that actually came through the door and as you can see i got little holes here and then the bottom uh, piece has disappeared so that's all going to be fixed i'm going to take that to my friend's aluminum shop and get new aluminum skin for that you notice the tires are only the 12 inch tires so the future plans are i already have an axle kit which we can weld new spring purchase on the top of the axle which will raise it up about three inches which i can hopefully get about 15 inch tires under there so tell me what you guys think especially with the the pinstriping or no pinstriping and yes i can zoom in at the time i only had two latches so there's two separate latches there and then the other side i have one long piano hinge so so two small piano hinges and one long piano hinges so my thought process is yes someone's going to make comments and that's fine but once they get spray painted white or the hinge part's going to be taped off white and everything else is going to get raptor coated so i don't think you're really going to notice it so we'll do an update and I'll get it opened up and then I'll show you other things that need to be done. Okay, Crusaders, finally working on my pop-up camper. We have a trip coming up at the end of the month. So where I left off, we're talking about the pinstriping and also the color of the roof. So, but the next task is to fix that wood on the inside. So I will show you real quick what I'm talking about. So this right here, as you can see, there's little holes. That's where the canvas bracket was hooked up to. This is all wood up here and it's all rotten. So these are common. They have uh, an attachment point up in the center here that leaks and then it gets into the wood. So I got new wood to replace all this. And as you can see over there, that section needs to be replaced. Um, it's not that bad of a camper on the inside, really. Um, just where we had the rod issue. But that all needs to be replaced. So this section, all this going across the back of the camper. Um, and I'm starting in the camper in the back because as you can tell, it's quite sunny out there right it's florida i think it's heat index of like 100 so i'm getting a late start because i had to go get some wood from lowe's um sorry home depot people i only shop lowe's um in my feeling they're more patriotic they do give veteran dis discounts year round but that's where we are i'm getting everything off i'm gonna start 
unscrewing everything unscrewing all the brackets and then start digging out all the the old wood all right guys we'll see you soon two pieces and slide it in and join it in the middle that's what I'll do because I don't feel like taking apart the whole roof cap okay guys here's where I'm at so I think I'm making a little bit of a mess a little bit of an impact so check this out I figured this was probably a one by six at least this is styrofoam with just like a piece of paneling over it so now I have to, instead of the pressure treated deck board I got, I gotta go get some pressure re treated plywood to slide up in here. And what sucks is it still feels a little damp because I'm sure a styrofoam, you know, and it's glued or it's fused to that styrofoam. So it's just, look at Here's a section of styrofoam. Here's a section of styrofoam. There's so before I'm done with it, I will spray it real good with probably chlorine bleach. Try and click kill whatever else is in there. But look at this. I've had to remove the cover here and everything. This is just that's plywood. That is actually plywood sitting up in there. That I can just break apart that to me is crazy that they would just put plywood up there so this is where I'm at let's see how I progress all right Crusader so this is what I have right now so what I've done was I got a piece of cardboard to try and make a template see what type of the size wood I'm going to need. I know since I have not opened the end caps, it's going to be a little interesting to see if I can get the wood in there. Uh, worst case scenario, I pop the end caps and just slide the wood in, but we'll see how it goes. And if you notice, my template is not long enough, so I'll just tack on an extra half inch or so to um, get the wood in there probably. All right, good Crusaders, so we're back at it. So this is what I have going on. Yesterday recap, got all the old wood out of the side here. And then got it out of that side right there. And this, like I reminded you, was just, you can tell a little flat piece of plywood, basically. 
right on this fascia of it. So it's nice and dried out now, thank goodness. So here's what I'm doing now. I got the caps pulled off the corners here. And this is gonna make it easier for me to slide the wood in right here. All right, so that's what we're looking at. It also helped me slide. I have a thin piece of ply that I can slide right in through here. So that'll do it. Hey guys, also just to let you know, this were the end caps that went on the end here. Okay, so I struggled getting the screws out because they had all this bed liner crap on it. So luckily this one is not cracked. So when I did when I did this one yesterday, there's a crack. You can see it runs right all the way through up to here. So with that, I was unfortunate. I just had to spend almost $100 for four new plastic caps. So I guess that's the joys of having an older pop-up camper. But it's going to turn out nice. Okay, Crusaders. So here's where we're at. So the pressure treated wood that I bought did not fit. It was too wide. So I happen to have some of these pine boards. Um, I know some of you may be saying, ooh, pine. I'm not worried about it. I figured out why these things are so prone to leaking. And from the beginning, the manufacturers don't do a very good job at it. So this is some ply. This was actually too thick. So what I did was I put it on the outside of the frame. See right here? Instead of being tucked underneath, which it's going to be just fine. It's nice and sturdy. Um, I have new rubber seals coming in. And, and the corner caps, like I said earlier. So once I'm done with that, um, I can finish things up. So excuse that. So it looks like this. And yeah, I had to sort of piece a couple pieces together. Um, I don't know. It just It's just the way it is. All right. So the other side, I'll try to do better. All right, guys. So far, so good. Hey, guys. Okay, update on my Coleman Cedar XL. Um, I'm at, I got it primed out. I think I got the roof as watertight as I could possibly get. I replaced the corners, rebutyl taped inside, caulked all the gaps, got everything primed out. Um, some of you might say, hey, you haven't taped off the, the frame. Um, I've already done some work with the frame. I'm about to spray Raptor coat on the camper aspect of it so if i get raptor it's going to be white raptor but i get if i get white raptor on the frame it's not a big deal uh, raptor will protect it and then i'll just come back by and and paint it black uh, it's not a huge deal i got brand new led lights for the four corners i got two amber and two red so got the plastic primed adhesion promoter and i'm about to do the raptor got my compressor ready i just blew off any excess water i already washed it and degreased it and between my blower the sun and the compressor i think i got all the water off where i need to and I think we're ready to go. So, all right, let's see what happens in the, after I spray it. And this is all garbage in here. Man. All right, so glad I can't smell any of this. It smells bad. Yeah. All right, so the tent's going in. So what we're gonna do is, once we do this and, and shaking and stuff, 
after the two minutes. Um, I'll hook the air hose up to it. I got some cardboard over here. I'll spray a little pattern on it and see if I like the pattern. It should be the, on the table. Because that should be enough for four doses right there. Hey guys, here's the finished product. So I used the Raptor tintable liner with the white tint. Okay, so you see I got it on the frame. Like I said before, no big deal. I am going to go back over the frame with black. So if you can tell from the beginning to the end, doesn't look like Sanford and Sons camper anymore so it's not too bad so the roof itself I don't know let me know what you think yep I got a leaf right there imagine that so hopefully it's hard enough there you go there's the top I don't think that looks too bad Got the lids that I had custom made. Got the front plastic coated. So that'll help it. So yeah, coming along pretty good. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I painted the black. So now you don't see that. I put the new caps on. Hey Crusaders, I hope you liked our work in progress pop-up camper. After working on the exterior, I worked on some interior so we could take a quick trip to St. Augustine. Please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, God bless, and I hope to see you on your own crusade.